Hi guys, Chevelle Live is back. Um, I'm so sorry, I have not made a video in so long, just because I know you can hear my voice. I've been under the weather, things of that nature. I've been so busy just trying to get things together in my life. So, but I'm here, and um, yeah, I just gotta be more consistent with this, but I will, I promise you. Um, so today I just wanna talk about comparison, and you know, just how comparing is really the thief of joy. Um, I've talked about this before, but I just want to touch on it again because, you know, especially we live in an age where social media is very alive and it's, you know, everyone's on Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be, and you may find yourself looking at some, someone's life, oh, you know, they have a nice car, they have a nice house, oh, whatever, whatever, but once you start looking at what other people got, you don't recognize what you have. You don't see what God is doing in your life because you're so focused on the blessings someone else is receiving or what God is doing in someone else's life. But you have to understand that what God is doing in someone else's life, he can do in your life times 10. He can, you know, multiply what he's doing in someone else's life and put it onto you because that's what God, God is just a giving God. You know, he doesn't say, oh, well, you deserve this or you deserve that or you don't deserve this or you don't deserve that. He wants everyone to live happy. He wants everyone to live you know full of love and full of joy and just so pure and that's what we just we have to you know understand that because I I'm I'm a criminal of it too I you know I used to compare myself as well just looking at other people like wow they got that job right out of college why couldn't I have done that or they're doing that why can't I do that or that's exactly what I want to do but their journey is not my journey their race is not my race so just because they're moving a little faster than I am doesn't mean anything because I'm moving at the pace that I'm comfortable with. I'm moving at the pace that God has placed on me. So, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're moving at your pace that God has you in. God has you in a race that's made just for you. This journey you're in, this season you're in, it was created just for you. So don't try to compare someone else's journey or someone else's season like, oh, they have sun, why is my season raining right now? You know, or they have all this snow. Why? Why is my season full of storms? Because those storms are making you. Those storms are putting you in place to where you need to be. So rejoice in this rain. Rejoice in the storm because it won't last always. Joy comes in the morning. That sun will shine again. I promise you. So you just have to know that God is still working in your life because God can work in someone else's life and work in your life as well. The same way as you can be happy for someone else and be happy for yourself. You can't see what God is doing in your life because you're still peeking over the fence to see if someone else's grass is greener. Oh, well, you know, what are they using to, to make their grass look like that? What kind of water, you know, what are they doing to do that? Or, you know, how are they? No, stop questioning how they do that, what they doing. And, and look at yourself and say, you know, what can I do? What can I do to motiva motivate myself to do better or go after that? What can I do to fix myself the things in my life so God can work on me better? What can I do to change what I'm doing so God can position me to where I need to be? That's what we need to be asking ourselves instead of how did they get that? What are, you know, just because they got a new car don't mean nothing because your new car is on the way. Just because they got that promotion doesn't mean anything. Your promotion is on the way as well. So understand that just because someone else's is race is different, their journey is different, doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. I remember... A couple years ago, I met my, um, I met, you know, my mentor. Uh, I call her my mentor. She probably doesn't even remember me. Um, Robin Roberts, because I've always wanted to be on Good Morning America. And I got the opportunity to meet her. And she told me, she was like, Ashley, my race is different from yours. The route that I took to get here will be different than the route that you take to get here. And that stuck with me. Because just because she got there in a X amount of years or whatever, whatever, doesn't mean that's going to be the same amount of time I take to get there. Just because she started in, you know, on here and there, she started there, that doesn't mean I have to start there. So understand, you know, you may be an artist, a singer, um, whatever you are, just because someone else started somewhere doesn't mean that's where you need to start. A lot of people are trying to position themselves in the same place that someone else started, to hoping that they'll have the same outcome. You will not have the same outcome because you have two different races going on. So guys, just understand that don't compare yourself because there's so much beauty in what you're doing already. There's so much beauty in 
where you're going and where God has you. So just rejoice in that. Find, find happiness in what God is doing in your life. Focus on what God is doing in your life. And, in, and be happy in that. And, and I just want you guys to live a beautiful life, a long, healthy life. But that will only happen if you enjoy this long and healthy life. Enjoy what God is doing. You woke up this morning. Your purpose started. As soon as you opened your eyes, as soon as you felt that first, you know, that breath this morning, that's when your purpose started. So, um, guys, I love you guys. If you ever need prayer, I'm here. Just understand that um, joy does come in the morning. Your time is coming. The journey was created just for you. Um, pray more, love more, and um, just enjoy where you are. And I love you guys. See you.